Hi, I'm bored. Let's go make a neural network to detect numbers. I've used a computer and I know what a number is, so this shouldn't be too hard, right? I've never coded an AI. I've messed with some AIs, but I don't really know too much about how they work. But I have a general idea. So I think I'm going to kind of sketch it out and draw it and try and explain it. So we draw a number. We give the data or the program a number, like this number one here. So the computer doesn't know what a one is, but we it would have a set of data and it has a bunch of ones that look, I don't know, one, 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 I don't know, one like that, one like this, uh, something like that. Just a whole set of data and it has twos, all the way down, threes, and so it looks at all of these, looks at the strokes, sees, compares them using some kind of brain neuron thing, and it says, this one kind of looks like that three. We'll call it a three. And we know it's a one, We've, and part of the program knows it's a one, but the thinking part doesn't know it's a one. So we say, hey, this is actually a one. And the program goes, crud, okay. So the next time it sees something like this, it knows it's a one, and it can learn from it. And so we do this some kind of iterative process of training it so that it learns what each number is. And if I can do this with just numbers, then I could do it with letters too. And I could do it with like circle, tri not a short triangle, triangle, circle, square, but I want to have a bit more challenge and do numbers. Well, let's see what I can do. Okay, so I opened up my little code editor over here. Started, I, I found a good one online, a good data set online from TensorFlow. So I just kind of stole in it, and, and it's pre-split into training data and testing data. And now I have to actually use the model. I've legitimately never seen this before. What is this? Let's go, my data is training. That's pretty hype. Okay, it wasn't working before, but now it's actually working. I've been fighting with TensorFlow for the past 30 minutes getting this to work. Turns out that wasn't working either, so I had to change this file extension to be a curious file or something for TensorFlow to work. I'm not entirely sure why, but it said that it actually told me the error this time and I'm not just having to stare down Stack Overflow for half an hour. That's pretty dope. Here's a real test. I got Microsoft Paint here, 28 by 28 area. Let's draw a, what should I draw? I'll draw a seven. And then we'll do one like this, and then I'm going to do another one with a line through it. So this is just a test. Let's see if this works. I'm taking a little bit of a break to code from coding to just go through and create some images and paint to just test. So now the system is done training. I've coded that bit. So now we have an image that we get. That's our image. It, it has a number in it. There we go. And so then it, we send it to the neural network. It goes to the neural network. And then the neural network has a bunch of nodes. I set there to be 128 of them. And so they have connections. And there's 128 in this next one. And so that they, they could be connected all over the freaking place. Actually, there's no side connections, but they are connected all over the place. I have a big brain. This is how your brain thinks, okay? And then this 128 of these. This is many neurons to get the algorithm functioning. Yeah, it takes a bit to do everything, but it should end up being pretty accurate. Maybe 95. That's kind of the goal here. So then all of these compile into 10, 
and they all combine together to get 10 outputs. So these are, and I set the boundary on this number to be between 0 and 1. And so each of these is a digit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or I guess a 0, up to 9. And so this being bounded between 0 and 1 could be a confidence. And the sum of this will end up being 1. So this is kind of a probability distribution, how the model thinks that the number, what the number is. So let's say we got this. And so it said uh, 0 0.001 or something, uh, 0 0.98, 0 0.01. And so all of these would end up adding to 100. I guess 0.98 for the 3, hopefully, not the 2. <laughs> 0.98. But that's what this is. This is a probability distribution with how accurate it thinks the number is. Hopefully I can code this bit. Okay, okay, we're gonna run the model. Let's see what happens. Uh <laughs> great. I I forgot a pair of parentheses. Let's try this one more time. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Great. Okay, I removed the try and accept block to try and figure out what it was, and I forgot this pair of square brackets. So that'll at least give us more information other than that just spamming a. Uh. Alright, 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 alright. Number six. Uh, oh my gosh. This, this, this is what we gave it. <laughs> Great. Great. I'm crying. Okay, next one. Okay, this one is a four. Number one. I'm... It's gonna get one, right? Number three, that's an eight. Um, this is not looking too good, Chief. Seven, it's a, it says two. Um, this says two. Hey, hey, that's a two. We got one right so far. Zero, that says zero. Okay, two, that's a four. Okay, this is a 9, and this is a 9, so that's 3, uh, 6 versus 1, and that's not looking too good. So we got 3, okay, a 3 out of 9, 33%, if this was an AP exam, it'd be like a 2, depending on the exam, that's, that's pretty bad. <laughs> I mean, it, it's working better than chance, that's good at least. I'm trying to increase the number of epochs and the number of neurons to see if that helps, but so far increasing the epochs to 5 and doubling the neurons basically hasn't changed it, so I really don't know if just my AI is just that bad, or my handwriting is abysmal, or what. <laughs> But it's better than chance, because if it was chance, I should get 1 out of 10, and I got 3 out of 9, so it's, it's better than chance at least. Okay, so I tried some other numbers, and it had about 40% accuracy or something. I don't know whether to be proud of this project or not, but I, I tried. If you want to see me try other coding projects, leave a like, subscribe. This is kind of cool to just get back into coding. Maybe I'll try it again with a different approach, but I think that's it for this video. Goodbye.